Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on simplifying a third. Now if you haven't heard the term third before, it just means the root of a number. So for example, like root of five, that would be a third, it's the square root of a number. You could have the cube root of 10, that's still a third. But we're gonna mostly deal with square roots in these series of videos. Now with fractions, we know we can simplify them by making the numbers as small as possible. So whatever we divide the top by, we divide the bottom by. And we like the numbers to be small in a fraction. And the same is true for thirds. We want the number under the root to be as small as possible. And the way we do that is to find the biggest square factor that goes into that number. So let me write that down. Find the biggest square factor of the number. So let's start with the root eight. What's the biggest square number that goes into eight? There's a factor of eight. Well, let's write down our square numbers. Well, one squared is one, two squared is four, three squared is nine, four squared is 16, five squared is 25, and that will probably do for these examples. Now, what's the biggest one of these numbers that goes into eight? Well, it's four, isn't it? So four is a square factor of eight. And the way we do it is we write that square factor first, and then we think, well, four times what is eight? Well, it's two, so we write root two. And the reason this works is because when you multiply two thirds together, we would just multiply these numbers. So root four times root two is root four times two, which is root eight. Now, the reason I put that square number first is because, well, what's the square root of four? It's two, isn't it? So we just end up with two times root two, but we'd write it as two root two. So put the square number first. Let's do it for these other examples. The square root of 27. What's the biggest square factor of 27? Well, it's nine, isn't it? We can see the nine over here. And we put the square number first, we write root nine, and then think, well, nine times what is 27? Well, it's three. So we put the three there. And then we just simplify. What is the square root of nine? It is three, isn't it? So we have three root three. And you can check this on your calculator. If I write root 27, it simplifies it to three root three for me. The final one, root 50. What's the biggest square factor of 50? We can see here it's 25. So we write the root 25 first. And 25 times what is 50? It's two. And then we simplify. What's the square root of 25? It's five, so we end up with five root two.